Hey guys, it's Spycat, and I did a video yesterday where I had the movie The Mask, and um, it made me want to go in my collection and uh, gather up all the movies about uh, people that might have like a uh, certain disability. They might be mentally handicapped, or they might uh, have been born with a uh, some kind of thing that uh, enables them to kind of function right in society and uh, in public and stuff. So uh, this will be a collection of those type of movies. Movies like Forrest Gump, movies like Radio, um, movies, you know, like I Am Sam, and uh, a whole bunch more, but along those ends. So uh, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, the first movie I have is Door to Door with William H. Macy. Um, this is a really good movie about um, this guy who was born with um, cerebral palsy, and uh, he has a hard time kind of getting around in life. And um, even though he was born with cerebral palsy, um, he manages to keep his job. He's a sales guy. He goes door to door trying to sell things to people, even though he has a real bad speech problem. He can't really talk right. He gets the door slammed in his face like eight out of ten times. It's just, you know, it's a great inspiring movie. So uh, that's why this has to go in my collection, too. Next movie I have, guys, is The Man Without a Face, Mel Gibson movie. About uh, Mel Gibson basically basically plays the part of um, this man that was born with half of his face kind of deformed. It's kind of like almost like the mask movie. Um, his face just looks really like burnt or something. And uh, he lives in this secluded house to himself. He's real reserved. And uh, till he uh, forms this bond with uh, this kid who wants to go over there because he's a teacher. I think he teaches them to be a writer or something like that. Um, so they build a good friendship and stuff. And he kind of breaks Mel Gibson out of his shell, uh, the young kid. And a uh, really good movie. So have to add that to this uh, pile. Next movie I have, guys, is of Mice and Men. Um, Gary Sinise, John Malkovich. Uh, this was the old... Um, John Steinbeck novel, um, made into a movie, one of my favorite movies of all time, I have the black and white version, I have this version, and, um, just really great movie, and, um, this movie's basically about, uh, John Malkovich plays the character of Lenny, who's, um, he's just kind of mentally, uh, handicapped, he's, uh, he's not all there, he, you know, gets himself into a lot of trouble, um, and, that's pretty much what this is about. They're on the run um, from when Lenny, like, got himself in trouble for, like, I guess uh, messing with a woman or something. He plays too rough with them, and he, it's a great movie, though, of Mice and Men. Next movie we have, guys, is I'm Sam. Um, Sean Penn, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, really great movie, uh, really sad ending. This doesn't have a good ending from uh, what I remember, and... Um, Basically, he has a daughter. He's mentally challenged. Um, the mother can't take care of the daughter, so the mother leaves the daughter with um, uh, Sean Penn. And by the time the daughter gets about like 10 years old, they start to realize that um, he, she has the same intelligent level as the father. So they try to take the little girl away from uh, her only blood, uh, Sean Penn. And uh, it's a really sad movie. Michelle Pfeiffer plays the uh, lawyer trying to fight for um, his character to have the daughter back, and uh, doesn't have a good ending, I'll just say that. Next movie I have is uh, Burt Lancaster's A Child is Waiting. This movie is a really good movie. I collect any movie with Burt Lancaster. He's my number one favorite actor. I have to have every movie of him. Uh, same with Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau. Um, I just like those three people, I guess. But, um, Burt Lancaster's A Child is Waiting. It also have Judy Garland in it. Uh, a really great movie. I'm glad that this finally came out on Blu-ray. It's about, um, this institution, um, where parents kind of had enough with their kids. They're, they have learning disabilities. They throw temper tantrums. And, um, they're just crazy kids. Kind of the way that I was when I was a kid. And, um... So they're in this institution, uh, the parents gave up on them, and nobody really takes time to give the kids the right love and attention, and the president or the uh, principal of the institution, uh, Burt Lancaster, is the only person that kind of sees a liking to this kid, and um, 
it's a really good movie, really good message to it. Next movie I have is Awakenings, guys. Uh, Robert De Niro, Robin Williams. Great movie about a um, group of people that are in this hospital. Um, they have this rare disease that doesn't let them do anything. They're like kind of brain dead and they can't even really move their muscles or anything. And um, it's, a, it's a great movie. Robin Williams plays the doctor. He gets this experimental drug. Um... And he calls it, like, Awakenings, because when they get this drug, um, Robert De Niro's character just breaks out of his shell. He, he, his brain's functioning great. He can do work. He's learning to read and write and just be normal. And then since it was an experimental drug, they have to cut the drug off. And that's why this movie's um, kind of sad. has a sad ending, for sure. See no evil, hear no evil. I'm just throwing in a comedy right now. Um, because this is the same kind of along those lines. Richard Plyer plays a, a blind guy. And Gene Wilder plays the deaf guy. And together they're just... It's just one of the all-time comedies about people that are, uh, you know, born with a uh, handicap or a mental disability of some sort. And uh, they kind of overcome it. Great comedy movie. All right, guys. The next movie I have is uh, The Vow with um, Channing Tatum. Um, I like this movie. This is a really good movie. You know, it's kind of a chick flick, but uh, it's a great movie, inspired by true events. Um, Channing Tatum plays the character. These two are a couple, and uh, he plays the character of the boyfriend who loves this girl tremendously. And um, basically, they go on a trip, and she has an accident, and she, like, hits her head or something, and she gets a really bad case of amnesia where she just forgets everything, doesn't know who, the, who her own uh, fiancé is, doesn't even remember him. And um, despite that, she is suffering from amnesia. He basically does everything he can to try to get her to remember who he is. So they basically have to start all over again, and she doesn't even know who the hell this guy is. So um, it's a great movie, though. I like this movie. And it's, you know, she's overcoming having, you know, getting whacked over the head or whatever. <laughs> but um anyway guys next movie i have is rain man uh another uh movie about um dustin hoffman plays a character of the guy with autism um i think the one of the parents die or something and they inherit all this money but um he has to get him to like sign some papers to get the money and he finds out that he's autistic or he knew that he was autistic because tom cruise picks him up in the institution that uh he's in and, um, you know, he's autistic, so he has these weird, uh, fits and t temper tantrums where he's just going crazy, and, um, he can't really function in society, uh, Dustin Hoffman's character. So, uh, Tom Cruise takes him out of the institution, and, you know, Tom Cruise is just kind of, you know, an a-hole in this movie, and, uh, he just wants his brother to get him to sign the paper so he can get money and stuff. He even uses um, the poor guy to go uh, play um, poker and win him money because he's like, you know, autistic people are really smart in one area. Uh, they they excel great, and then the rest of their um, life, life and stuff is they're kind of like they can't really function in society and stuff. But um, really great movie. Um, have to add that to this. Next movie I have is uh, The Other Sister. Um, great movie, Diane Keaton, Juliette Lewis. They play two people that are mentally handicapped um, who fall in love. And um, despite being mentally handicapped, they find love. And that's kind of rare, you know, for um, the mentally handicapped. And this is a really great movie. I love this movie. Next movie I have is Radio. Um, Cuba Gooden Jr. plays the, uh, I think, janitor or... He's like the, he cleans the field and stuff, and he's always watching these guys play football, and he's really, like, mentally handicapped, and everyone's calling him retarded and all kinds of names. They make fun of him. He can't really even speak right, but he's interested in football, and one day someone discovers him, the coach discovers him, and um, he realizes that he is the star football player, and he excels in football, blows all the, his teammates that were making fun of him, off the map, and it's just a really inspiring, uh, great movie with Cuba Gooden Jr. and Ed Harris. 
Next movie we have is Simon uh, Birch. Um, this movie is a great movie. It has a kid that uh, was in, he was Robin Williams' kid in Hook, and he was also in What About Bob, and um, a couple other movies, I can't remember what. But um, it has Oliver Platt from um, Oliver Platt from uh, Lake Placid. Um, a couple other movies. I don't really have many movies from Oliver Platt, but um, this movie's a great movie. Uh, this kid's basically he's born with this thing where everyone's basically like they don't even know how he's even alive, and um, and even though he could die at any minute or something, um, any day, he kind of proves everyone wrong, and he's just. You know, he was born with this really rare uh, disability and he, you know, still manages to be loving and these two build a relationship, great friendship. And um, he, I remember he likes playing baseball a lot. That's what I remember about this movie. But a really good movie to add to this pile. What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio plays a um, mentally uh, handicapped brother of... Um, Johnny Depp, they're in this, like, little, small country, uh, in the middle of nowhere, pretty much, and, um, nothing really happens there, um, Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio's mother is this lady who has an eating disorder, and she just lays in bed and eats, and, um, it's a really great movie, great message, it even has, uh, Juliette Lewis, who was, we just saw was in, um, The Other Sister, but this is a great movie, one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, all these movies are. They're in my collection. And uh, this is a really cool section uh, of movies to talk about. You know what I mean? Because nobody ever does this. I haven't seen anyone do this. So this is kind of cool that I'm doing this. Um, next movie I have is I threw in the second comedy to this thing. Uh, the Ringer, Johnny Knoxville. He basically cons the Special Olympics. Pretends that he's um has Down Syndrome and is mentally uh, challenged and stuff. And... Uh, to win this uh, money prize in the Special Olympics. And he ends up kind of caring about all these people. And he got a really bad rep for making this movie because they said that he was making fun of these people. And, you know, this guy got famous from this movie and now he's in tons of movies. And a couple of other, other of these guys uh, also did too. So um, that was kind of cool. Uh, I like this movie. I, I don't know why they gave him such a bad rap for it. But this is a great movie. One of my favorite uh, comedies about people with Down syndrome. Or not Down syndrome. I'm hella tripping. They're uh, mentally challenged. Oh man, I sound like an idiot right there. But um, no, I have a movie about someone with Down syndrome. I'm going to get to that one. But this is uh, mentally challenged. Down syndrome. Or no, it is kind of Down syndrome, I guess. You guys know what I mean. Alright guys, next movie I have is Stanley and Iris. Um... This movie is about Robert De Niro. He plays a guy who can't read, and uh, he falls in love with this his teacher who teaches him how to read. So it's a really good movie. Um, had to add that to this because Robert De Niro plays a great role in this of the guy who's um, kind of born with this disability, learning disability. So a uh, great movie about a uh, kind of a romant romantic uh, drama, if I uh, remember correctly. House of D with uh, Robin Williams. I love this movie. Robin Williams plays a part of the janitor who um, kind of is mentally challenged. He's not really all there. He can't really learn that good. But he builds this uh, bond with uh, David Duchovny's uh, son. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's a really good, good-hearted movie. I also got... Oh, this is the movie I was talking about with the kid that has Down Syndrome. Um, yeah, so The Ringer is about kids with Down Syndrome. I'm, I'm tripping. I mean, it's it's Down syndrome and mentally uh, handicapped. It used to be mentally challenged, but I guess I, I'm not up on the new words now. That doesn't, you know, I don't know. But uh, I guess it's it was mentally challenged. Now they want to be called uh, mentally handicapped. I guess, but uh, you know, I don't want to. You know, I, I these people are hella cool, man. I have hella friends that are like that, and uh, they're cool. But any day now is a really good movie. It's a really um, really sad movie, if I remember. It's about, uh, this couple, they adopt a, uh, kid with Down syndrome, and, um, they give the couple a hard time because nobody loves this kid. The mother's on drugs. She treats him like crap, kind of even hits him and stuff, and, um, these two live in the, or he lives in the apartment, 
and he meets the kid and um he builds a relationship with him and he's treats him like a really you know like a friend and stuff and um it's a great movie and then he winds up trying to adopt him he pretends um i think or maybe they don't pretend they start to pretend that he's they're a couple so they can adopt it because he's the one that builds a relationship with um uh the kid and everything and it's this movie has the saddest ending of any movie in history and uh i think this is a great great movie and um great movie really sad ending though i don't want to ruin it but uh really messed up movie um of mice and men and not messed up like i mean like messed up like uh the ending is just not a it's a really sad ending uh same with the mice and men another movie with a real sad ending um i don't want to ruin that but this is a movie about george and lenny lenny um always gets in trouble that they're always on the run because lenny's always getting into trouble because of he's mentally challenged and he's a big guy and he always ends up like hurting someone or an animal or something like that and uh from john steinbeck the uh he wrote the book of of mice and men favorite movie of all time i even have the 1939 uh old school dvd in my collection too and the next movie i have guys is uh my private idaho this movie is about river phoenix and uh um Keanu Reeves, yeah, Keanu Reeves, uh, plays, there are two people that are kind of runaways, they're drug addicts, they have to, uh, live on the street and kind of, I think, I think they're turning tricks or something, I, I, I can't, don't really remember, but I just remember that River Phoenix has, like, he killed this role in this movie, this is one of his best movies, and, um, he plays a guy with narcolepsy, so he's like, all of a sudden he's awake and then he's like, he falls back and he goes to sleep for hours not knowing it. Really dangerous um, thing to have. But uh, it's a great movie. And uh, this is the Criterion Collection edition that's worth a little bit of money. And a uh, really good edition. Has a whole book in here and everything. So it's really cool. Next movie I have, last movie I have, guys, is uh, Forrest Gump. Everyone remembers this movie. Won six Academy Awards. Gary Sinise, Sinise is in here. Uh, Tom Tom Hanks plays Forrest Gump, and um, we all know Forrest Gump. This is a two disc edition. Just a great movie about a guy who, uh, you know, is kind of born different, and uh, he proves to be like a hero, the, the the great American hero, you know, pretty much. And uh, really great movie. I'm glad I have this in my collection, and. Um, for the last thing I'll do, I'll sh I'll go and walk and I'll find my Of Mice and Men original 1939 uh, first movie that was released because I love that movie. Let me go grab that. All right, guys, and this being my favorite movie of all time is the whole story, the whole movies of uh, of Mice and Men. I saw this in school and it was just it blew my mind. However, the way that they wrote this movie is the kind of movie that you can watch over and over again. There's a few movies that are like that. They write them exactly the perfect way where you can watch them over and over again. You never get sick of them. This movie's like that, and uh, Groundhog Day is like that, too. You can watch that movie tons of times. Your brain just never will ever get sick of it. And um, I don't know. It's a real trippy thing. Kind of cool. But um, this is the original of Mice and Men. I'm pretty sure this version's out of print. And... Uh, the original is pretty good, even though I love the uh, 1993 one that came out with John Malkovich and Gary Sinise, but um, I like them all, and I have like three versions of Of Mice and Men. I have those, I have the special edition um, one, I have the other one, and the DVDs of Mice and Men are all out of print, so uh, that's kind of cool. I'm getting hella cotton mouth, I've been talking for like 20 minutes on this thing. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you like this video of uh, my movies about people with that are mentally challenged, that have uh, mental disabilities, and they have to overcome it. And some of these movies are funny. Some of these movies are sad as hell. And um, some of these movies are just drama and uh, well, you, radio type movies. Well, you saw the dang movies, guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I hope you like this video. The next video I'm going to do is going to be kind of a special thing on uh cancer movies about um 
people that were uh, get cancer and uh, they don't have much longer to live. And uh, some of these movies are sad. Some of these movies will be even comedy movies like The Bucket List is about like uh, cancer. Um, Stepmoms about cancer. Here, guys, I'll, I have a couple movies. I'll just give you a preview of my movies that I'm going to do my next video of, of people that are born with uh, cancer and stuff. Like The Doctor. Great movie. Uh, this guy is a doctor who uh, gets cancer. Really sad movie. Movies like uh, Stepmom Guys, you know what I mean? This is a great movie about uh, a lady who ends up getting cancer. And really sad movie. But I'll talk about those on the next video. Anyway, guys, that's it. I got a split. This is my first time actually... I, I did this video like an hour ago and I, I looked at it and I, it, it wasn't that good. And I rambled on kind of like I'm doing now, but that one was like 30 minutes or 32 minutes or something like that. And this one's only 21 minutes. So it's the first time I'm doing a second draft to, I usually just wing it, but uh, I didn't like the way that I uh, did the last one. So, uh, Hope you guys like this video, and uh, the next video is going to be my, my pile of movies about people with cancer and stuff. So, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll see you again, guys, and uh, or yeah, I will see you again, because I just said I'm going to, yeah, okay. That's it, guys. I'm tired, but uh, see you guys next time.